Have you ever wondered why, when a calamity occurs, only a few people benefit from it and others end up as the victims? Have you noticed that even when a nation experiences economic struggles, although everyone is affected by them, only a few people make the most of them? How about this? Have you ever seen two people working for the same company? While one seems to be making progress, the other seems to be unfortunate and gets nothing out of his labor, even when he or she is committed to the work. Well, while some may call it a function of attitude, behind this lies the principle that, if understood, will change the whole of one's life. This is the mirror principle. Ever feel like life's throwing curveballs that suspiciously mirror your inner monologue? Well, you're not alone. The mirror principle says this, our external reality is a reflection of our internal world, our thoughts, beliefs, and expectations. Basically, what we see outside is a projection of what's brewing inside. Now, before you dismiss this as some woo-woo theory, hear me out. Remember that time you convinced yourself you couldn't ace that presentation only to choke under pressure? Or how that self-doubt about your artistic abilities mysteriously translated into underwhelming results? Yep, the mirror principle at work. But wait, isn't there that time you surprised yourself by conquering a fear you thought insurmountable? Absolutely, that's where things get interesting. The mirror reflects the consistent picture we paint in our minds. If you cling to old limiting beliefs, even after a breakthrough, guess what? You'll find yourself back facing those limitations. The same goes for positive affirmations. Shouting, I'm a millionaire, to the universe, while secretly harboring doubts about your worth, won't magically open the money vault. The universe, wise as it is, can sniff out your true beliefs like a truffle pig. So, how do we paint a masterpiece on the canvas of our reality? Ditch the quick fixes and embrace the truth. We are the artists of our own lives. The mirror principle isn't about tricks. It's about consciously shaping our inner world to reflect the reality we desire. Here's the good news. You're not stuck with a blank canvas. Start by acknowledging your limiting beliefs, those pesky whispers of self-doubt that hold you back. Then, replace them with empowering affirmations that resonate with your true potential. Remember, consistency is key. Don't just paint a pretty picture once. Keep refreshing the canvas with positive thoughts and belief. This principle is about accepting the truth and working with it to your advantage. How can I take advantage of this principle? Well, truth be told, it is no easy task to successfully paint a good picture of yourself when you don't feel comfortable with it or when everyone around you believes the opposite. It's a difficult life game to play, but it is highly rewarding because you end up getting lasting success from the practice. There are steps to take to use this principle to our advantage. The first is a deep understanding of the mirror principle. You must understand the operation of this principle if you are going to benefit from it. This is similar to farming. The farmer who wants to get a bountiful harvest and enjoy a good reward for all his labor understands that a good knowledge of the soil type, season, and nature of seed is paramount. You need to seek a good understanding of this principle before you make efforts to benefit from it. While we have talked about some before, one of the most important facts about this principle is that the output or results of the image you form in your mind happen slowly. This is the truth that many usually push aside. It happens slowly. It takes time to see the images you have formed in your mind become reality. Just like the seed put into the ground by the farmer, it takes time before we see it germinate with its stalk coming out of the ground. However, there's something very important we shouldn't avoid. Before we see its growth with our eyes, the growth has long started within the seed. This is mind-blowing. What this means as regards the mirror principle is that every word you speak, consciously or unconsciously, and every thought you successfully hold on to has an impact on your life, whether you realize it or not. Another nature of this principle is that the universe consistently presents to us the content of our thoughts. What does this mean? Now here's it. If you say, I hate mathematics, 
two things happen. One is that your mind's eye continually looks out for math problems. And secondly, the universe gives you more opportunities to encounter them. Why does this happen? It happens because of this underlying principle on which the universe functions. The result of it is that you continue to hate mathematics and unconsciously continue to confess your disdain for it. The universe always gives back to you what you give to it in words or thoughts. Now this brings us to the second principle. Paint the image and keep it shining. Your mind is life's exposed surface. Just like graffiti walls, where artists can express themselves by drawing, painting, or stenciling on the wall, the picture drawn in your mind can be easily covered by several factors lying around you. This includes comments made by others, the performance of every other person around you, your past failures, and ultimately what you think of yourself. This is why the mirror principle seems to be the hardest to believe. Many people who have tried to change their lives by creating a great picture of themselves realize that it isn't as easy as it seems. One must consistently repaint the great image he thinks of himself in his mind. There are three steps to take by which we can get this done. Number one, getting a clear description of who you would want to be. This step is very important in order to create a compelling force that drags you into becoming who you want to be. Sticking to your mental image is quite a difficult task. And so, for you to successfully hold on to this image, you must seek to get a clear and accurate description of who you would like to become. This involves doing research about your destined life. For example, if you want to be a millionaire before the year ends, meet those who are millionaires and ask them how they did it what they felt like when they accomplished it, and questions that would get you prepared for this journey. You can even study about them if you can't make contact with them. Number two, surround yourself with the kind of life you so desire. This is having an abstract contact with the person you are becoming. It might include putting a picture on your walls, networking, or even creating affirmations. As I said before, Images drawn in the mind can easily be covered or erased by the world around us. And so, our best advantage is to create an environment where we are constantly reminded of who we are becoming. Now we must ask ourselves, what decision can I make today that would lead me a step closer to my dreams? This might involve downloading a song, attending a conference, meeting up with a mentor, purchasing a picture, or dressing differently. Whatever your decision is, do it. Number three, the power of affirmations. Believe it or not, the world responds to your words. We need to understand this. Another thing we have to understand is that we also respond to our words. Our words shape our personalities over time. Now, we need to be careful with this. Every word we speak has some effect on us. At times, we say something positive about ourselves, and then at another time, we say something negative. Well, we must understand that the negative words seem to resonate more with us, mainly because we are surrounded most of the time with negativity. And so, the discipline we must adopt is to only speak positively. This is difficult, but very rewarding. One positive word will do you good. One negative word will get you deeper down the pit. A careful understanding of the power of affirmations is inevitable in the journey of becoming all that we would love to be. Now that we have seen how to paint an image and keep it shining, let's look at the next step. Take small actions toward your dreams. As we have understood, the mirror principle responds to our beliefs and persuasions. However, it also works with our actions and decisions. It's not enough to hold on to a thought. We need to begin taking actions that get us closer to the life we so desire. For example, let's say I desire to be a millionaire. If I carry out all the steps already mentioned, have a clear understanding of what it takes to be a millionaire, begin making success affirmations, and refuse to take desires along this line of thought, I will be making a great mistake. The principle doesn't work that way. Life only presents us with opportunities. It's our decision to either utilize them or sleep over them. Another example is a man who desires a better and happier family. I have gotten a clear description of what a happy family looks like and what it takes to build one. 
if his daily decisions are not consistent with who he wants to become, he becomes a hindrance to himself. For there to be significant change, the mirror principle states that changes begin in the mind but are brought into life with the hands. This means that our actions are what give life to our beliefs. However, one thing we left aside is what will take us to our final step. Change is sustained in the mind. Now we know change begins in the mind and is brought into existence with the hands. However, if we will continue to make changes and become all we want to be, we must not forget to always repaint the picture of who we desire to be in our minds. We must continue to attend to our thoughts and persist in getting a deeper and clearer understanding of the life we truly appreciate. Our mind is the target of our environment. While we can't determine all that happens around us, we can decide who we want to be. This includes paying attention to our thoughts and investing heavily in painting the right picture in our minds. Someone once said, the mind is the battlefield of a man. Our clear understanding and appreciation of these truths will make us better positioned to make lasting changes in our lives and become all we truly want to be. Just like the law of gravity, which everyone has to work with to make the most of their time here on Earth, so too is the mirror principle. We all need to understand it, appreciate it, and begin making use of it. As you apply the mirror principle in your life, you may encounter challenges and setbacks. But it's important to remember that every obstacle is an opportunity to learn and grow. Sometimes, it's tempting to give up when we experience setbacks. However, we must keep our focus on the end result if we want to make the most of life. Remember that you are always moving forward, even if it doesn't feel like it at the moment. So keep your thoughts positive and your actions aligned with your goals, and the mirror principle will work in your favor.